Hi, it's Brenda with Luke's, and I want to review with you how to import a stitch embroidery font, okay, which is kind of fun. There are lots of beautiful fonts out there, and if we can bring them in to our SoNet software and use them, it will elevate our embroidery hobby. So let's take a look at how to do this. We're going to go to the letter tab at the top. We're going to the font manager. And over here, you can see me circling it. I am going to import a font from the embroidery. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to name this. Well, this happens to be jam and berries font. So I'm going to say, okay, that's the name of it. And now it's asking me to find the folder where these are. Well, I downloaded this font and I just have it stuck on the desktop. And there it is. And I am going to find my letter A and I'm going to click open. And there it is. And it looks kind of neat. It's kind of a neat font. Now, this is where you need to pay attention because this makes your life a little bit easier. I have that folder open. So I'm going to take and bring that folder where those, those, um, that font is, I'm going to go to my desktop, okay, which is right here. And there's a Jim and Barry's font. I'm gonna open it up and I am going to go down to where the letters are. There we go, we can see the A, there's the B. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this just to make it smaller. All right, and let's see if I can make this even smaller, I will. Okay, because I just need to be able to see the letters. Okay, there we go. Now, I see I've got the A done. So now at this point, I can grab the B and drop it in. I can grab the C and drop it in. Now, am I going to do all of this online? No, that would drive you crazy. But I want to review. So I said I wanted to import a font. I named the font. Then the next step was, well, where does the font live? I went to the folder where I had downloaded the font and I just stuck one of the sizes on my desktop because it's easy to find. I found the capital A. So I imported the letter A. Then next thing that's important is I took that folder and I made it another window over here on the side so that I can just grab each letter and drop them in used to be we had to go and we had to open that folder up for every letter and that was just a pain so this is much shorter now there is something else you need to know there are some special letters like the letter j the small j i'm going to take that and i'm going to bring it in and you'll notice that the small j we know that it extends below the letter of our text so we're going to move that up Okay, to accommodate that letter. Now, when I did that, my little window went away here. Not a problem. I'm just going to go back, find that folder. Here it is. And let's do another letter like uh, the small g. So I'm going to take the g, drag it over here, drop it into position. And when I go and effect an action, again, moving that line up over here underneath the g. Okay, I move it up. There we go. Again, we notice that the window went away, not a problem. Going down to the bottom of the screen to the file folder, I see the screen right here with my letters on it. So I'm just gonna go through and drag all of these letters over here into this font. Now, I'm gonna say close because I wanna show you. All right, and now we've got that font and I wanna show you how we can use it. So I'm gonna hit close. I've got letter. This is my drop down to where the fonts live. Now, the fonts are arranged in different categories. And one of those categories is my fonts. And one of those fonts happens to be, oh, look at there, Jam and Berries. There it is. That's the one that we imported. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to type capital ABC because you know we didn't bring all the letters in. I'm going to hit apply. And there's our new font. It's it's really kind of pretty. I like it. Now, oh golly, 
what if we want the entire alphabet? I didn't have time, right, to import the whole thing. Is there a way to go back in? I know you saw this button before. Here's where we want to import it, but look at edit imported font. We can do that. So I've got that screen back up and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and find that same window where those letters were. It was on my desktop. It was under Jam and Berries. There it is. So I can go back in. I can grab the, I'm just going to grab the small A, no big deal. Okay. And drag that over and drop it in. This is much quicker than the old method that we had. This is more direct, quicker. I can import some beautiful fonts. And there are lots of lovely things. Now, there are many other aspects of using fonts in embroidery, Change the size, changing the sizes, uh, being able to move the letters closer together for a script font, all of those things. So um, I'll be posting more in the near future. So till next time, it's Brenda with Luke's.